Hello and welcome back. Today I'm going to show a few of the changes that I did to the new CNC table Z-axis, uh, which is now completed. And uh, I'll be showing some tryouts from one of the first tries to produce something with this. Over the past two weeks I've worked on the Z-axis uh, tool holder and um, I'm pretty happy to report that it's working quite well. Uh, I added another level to the to the tool holder itself. Um, I put on a very small stepper um, but this stepper um, actually has some gear reduction so it works quite well. The only thing that I had to do to be able to use this stepper um, together with the Polulu step sticks was I had to convert it to a uh, bipolar stepper uh, which can be done fairly easily by just cutting um, one copper connector on the back of its uh, connection PCB. Uh, right now I've got a tool mounted in here uh, this is a type of uh, chisel with a pointed head and I intend to use it to scratch away some um, of the paint that I put onto this PCB board to see if this can be used for outline milling and uh, I've made some tries and uh, it looks good but I wasn't able to get anything done that was good enough to actually edge uh, I'm still trying to figure out if I need to add um, any backlash values or any other type of um, optimization or maybe if I have problems um, that my z-axis just isn't stable enough. I did take the time to dial in the Polulus um, so the current running through the steppers is uh, pretty much optimal right now. Uh, if, the if the current is too small, um, you can actually hear the steppers making a few small steps and then a big one. And um, there are uh, there are how tos how to actually um, prime these polulus. Uh, you have to measure the current uh, passing through them when uh, one full step is selected and um, it's kind of troublesome uh, you can dial it in uh, just by ear by listening to the steppers but uh, then you risk giving them too much current which isn't good for the steppers um, and not good for the Polulus either so that's what it's looking like right now um, let's see if we can get it moving Uh, so as you can see, the speeds are very good. Um, the uh, Z-axis is also moving at a pretty good speed. Um, I have been running into the, into the problems uh, that when I've been doing these uh, extrusions that the um, line width that I was getting was so small that the paint would actually come off at the edges and it wasn't good for etching. But for a beginning I'm really happy with what I'm seeing right now. Uh, for those who are watching the development on my GitHub account, um, you might have been seeing that I've uh, made some updates to the um, UCNC controller v4 code uh, to reactivate some of the broken features and uh, I'm also doing a lot of work so I can have better support for this plotter. Uh, for now this is it. Oh no it's not! Well, I've got something more. Um, I went out and I machined uh, one of these chisels 
Actually, I made two of them until now. Um, they're very simple. They're just a steel rod with a tip at the top of them and uh, and a small uh, gap in the middle. Um, when I put them together, um, I put several of these uh, uh, rubber washers in here. And uh, sorry, focus, please. And uh, as the chisel is moving up and down, it's actually moving into a limit, and uh, this makes it a little bit springy, so I don't actually break anything on the PCB. Um, as you can see here, work is coming out very nicely, um, but there's still things to do, so we can get a better result. But for a start, let's get some light on here. But for a start, this is looking um, very promising, and uh, I'm looking into using other tools to make the tool path so I get a better uh, ratio between um, the extrusion and the uh, and the layer ex itself. Did I say extrusion? I meant isolation, I'm sorry. So, that's where I'm at right now. And uh, it's looking very good. I'm very happy with the machine itself. Um, I will be spending some time on getting the laser working, but I need to make some electronics for that. And when I'm done with that, I'll report back. For now, thanks for watching, and bye-bye.